this tutorial. So won't you feel amazed if we have a better alternative except DTT? Because most of the users, they prefer to use XML schema instead of XML DTT. And let's find out what's the reason that it is mostly preferred by the user. Well, if I give you a brief introduction what XML schema is, it actually gives a description about the XML document and it itself has a language defined for XML schema which is XSD which is XML schema definition language which is defined as XSD language. This XML schema definition language it also provides uh, an alternative for the XML documents so that we can find out the different constraints which are defined over our XML document. And there are certain more advantages of preferring XML schema over DTT. The first reason is that the name of the elements and the attributes which are used in XML schema they are well aware about the namespaces. And the second, the most important part is that all the constraints which are defined in this XML schema, they have their attributes uh, which can be easily be explained in this. For example, we'll implement this short example and let's see how it works. For example, we have the first which we have implemented in XML DTT, that XML version 1.0, which tells the version. Then we have this XS, XML schema, schema, XML events, which is XML namespace. This is the very important line which should be declared in your XML document while you are writing your XML schema for defining all the constraints which are mentioned in your XML document. Then what it comes is XS, your XML schema, element name meeting. This will be your next statement. Then comes XML schema complex type then your XML schema sequence now in XML DTT we have taken an example of a meeting where we take uh, three important things that on which day our meeting is, then from, then we had about. These were the three categories which we have take, uh, taken in XML DTD. Now we implement this same in XML schema and let's see how we do it. Then what we take is excess element name which would be on and type would be excess string. Then excess element name from and type would be your string. Double quotes. And what 
but most important thing is that all our starting tabs in XML they should be closed also. So first we close this tab. Then this. of XML schema. Just implement it and check 